Hello, grade one students. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. Today we're going to take the new high frequency and vocabulary words of unit four, week four. Let's start. The first word that we have is the word coat. Let's say together, it's the word coat. Coat. The word coat, it is the past tense of the verb catch. Let's read the example. A bug is caught in the web. Because this happened long time ago or it happened in the past, so we said coat instead of say catch. A bug is caught in this web. Word number two is flu. Let's say it together. Flu. The wasp flew over the flower. Can you see the wasp in this picture? She's flying over or it is flying over the flower. But because this also happened long time ago or it happened in the past, so we said flu. And the flu, the, the verb flu, it is the past tense of the verb fly. So this word is flu. The third word is no, I know how to catch a bug. This, ba this kid is going to catch a bug. The word no has a silent K. Do you remember the silent visit of Mr. L? This is a silent visit of Miss K. Miss K is visiting the word no. So we have to write it, but we do not pronunciate it. No, say it again. No. Perfect. Like, I know how to write the word no. It has a silent K at the beginning. Great. That bug story made us laugh. So the fourth word is laugh. Can you see uh, maybe it's the mother or the big sister with that little girl? They were reading a story and laughing. So the little girl is saying that bug story, that bug story made us laugh. Laugh. The GH letters with U and, and A made the F sound, which is laugh. So the word will be laugh. Read it together. Laugh. Word number four is... Or word number five is listen. Listen to the buzzing bees. Can you see the bees in the picture? They are buzzing, making the buzz sound. Listen to the buzzing bees. Can you hear? Listen carefully. The last word is where. Can you see the fireflies in the picture? This is the first one. Let me use another color. This is the first one. This is the second one. Here we have the third. These are the fireflies. Where fireflies were out last night. Where? Where? Because we have more than one firefly, we said where. We use the word where when we have more than one, when we, ha when we are talking about in a plural way. If, we, if the sentence was firefly, so we have to say was. The firefly was out, us, le, out last night. But because we have many, so we have to say fireflies were out last night. So what do we say? Where? Like, um, my brother and sister were playing uh, last, uh, last, uh, last day. My friends were laughing last week. Perfect. Now, we're going to say um, some sentences on the words. We have here the word coat. Can you see this, uh, this animal? Do you know what is the name of this animal? Do you remember? 
Do you remember the reading lesson we took before? Try to remember, uh, and when you remember its name, try to send it uh, to your teacher, okay? Try to send it to her, just the name. I want to see if you have good memories or no, uh, good, if you have a, a good memory or no. Okay. The first word is coat. I coat this balloon. Can you see this animal? He said that I, I coat this balloon. He's catching it. Did you see? He's, he's holding uh, uh, in its hand. Means he he catch he is now catching the balloon. But because it happened in the past, so we say, he said I coat this balloon. Second word is flu. This balloon flew away. Flew. Now I have these two words. I'm going to use them in one sentence. No and laugh. My grandfather knows how to make me laugh. He tickles me. Can you see in the picture? This old, this elder man is tickling his um, his grandson. Maybe uh, this uh, this little kid is saying the sentence. My grandfather knows how to make me laugh. He tickles me. Where? They wear singing because we have more than one person. Can you see in this picture? We have more than one person. They are singing. Now they are singing, but because it happened in the past, so we say they were singing. Where? Because they are more than one. We say where. Here we have the word listen. Listen carefully to your teacher. Listen carefully to your parents. Now we're going to practice the high frequency words. Um, let's start. First, we have to uh, read the question. The question says, write the word from the box that completes each sentence. First of all, we have to read the words in the box as usual. Fine, let's read them together. Try to copy me. Here we have the word coat, flu, no, laugh, listen, wear. Perfect. Let's uh, now read the questions. Hey, a bug. What can you see in the picture? What did the kid do with the bug? Hey. What do we say? He coat a bug or he uh, laugh a bug? Coat a bug. Good job. Number two. I add jokes. What is the kid doing at jokes? At the jokes? Laugh. Perfect. Can you please show me how you laugh? Thank you. I heard you laughing. The butterfly. Oh, I solved this for you. The butterfly flew away. Can you see the butterfly? It, it flew away. Number four, they playing in mud. Can you see these two puppies? What do we say? They listen playing in the mud or they were playing in the mud, in the mud. They were playing in mud. Perfect. Number five. We must in school. What do you do at school? We must listen in school or we must know in school or we must um, flu in school. We must listen in school. That's perfect. The last one is, do you where bees live? What do we say? I guess that you're going to say no and that's absolutely correct do you know where bees live they live in a hive perfect now we will have we'll start with the vocabulary words we have two words just like every day the first word is fancy everyone at the party was wearing fancy clothes can you see these three girls they're wearing 
fancy dresses. Fancy, the word fancy means nice or it means mm, beautiful, nice. I can see you, I can hear you, sorry, saying um, the meaning of the word fancy. The second word is beautiful. Beautiful also means nice, but we use it to describe people. We use the word beautiful uh, for the females only. Like, my mom is beautiful. My sister is beautiful. Like, that girl is beautiful. But for males, we say handsome. My dad is handsome. My brother is handsome. So here we have the word beautiful. My cat is beautiful. You can share some examples with your parents, okay? About the words uh, beautiful and fancy. Perfect. Now we're done. If you have any questions, save it for the virtual office hour or simply contact your teacher. I want to tell you another thing that the high frequency words are words that we read them on site. They do not follow any rule. We read them on site. Um, stay safe and thank you. Bye.